Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. It is time for Proctor's Garden, and today we are talking about a very autumnal spread. Rob just told me that's the word to use for this. Yeah, I guess it is, and, yeah. it, and it feels autumnal out here. It does. It's so chilly. I brought in a great American wildflower. This is the mm. Gloriosa daisy. It's found in all the 48 contiguous states. Is that the right word? I think so. It's the state flower of Maryland. But more importantly, these in the center are Denver daisies. Oh! These are Denver daisies. We've got our own daisies. We have our own daisy. These were introduced in 2008. Um, they're a selection of the Gloriosa daisies. Ah. Mm -hmm. They were introduced in 2008 for the 150th birthday of the founding of, of Denver. They're beautiful. I would yes. have to say, I would think that they're the nicest out of the, the group here. Yeah, That's sure. just my yeah, yeah. It's, it's just biased a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but, Never. But, but the Gloriosas do come in a range of colors. They even have different, like these have green eyes, whereas these have brown eyes. So they're, they're great flowers. They're big, they're bold. Mm -hmm. And uh, especially if your patio and say your front entrance is kind of boring right now mm -hmm. and your petunias are pooping out and all that, <laughs> do something great and add add some Denver daisies. Then we also have some com companions that go with them. Okay. We have some ornamental kale. Ah, oh, you love ornamental kale. I do love ornamental kale. <laughs> and we have ornamental peppers. So it kind of makes it, the whole Fine. autumnal thing work. Now the thing is, if you buy Denver daisies or any of the Gloriosas, they're really easy to grow. You can put them in pots, you can put them in the ground but they're basically an annual. Sometimes okay. they'll mm -hmm. live through the winter, but don't count on it. But if you allow them to go to seed, they'll seed their offspring, and it'll cool. be a surprise about what colors they are. Um, so that's a, a fun thing to look forward to next year. But, you know, people this time of year, they kind of give up and they go, oh, you know, bring on the fall, let everything die. Well, yeah. I'm the opposite. It's like, I want to enjoy every moment of sunshine and great weather yeah. and, and have lots of color. I mean, that's I what them. that's what summer's all about. Yeah, I agree. So which one of these smells so good? Because well, I think that's they're me, very but fragrant. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Is it, Something is it very fragrant over here. I don't know. It's the Denver one. It must be the Denver, Denver one. one. Absolutely. Denver one. It's the best. Smells the best. And they're also, that's a good point because they're also beloved by butterflies and bees. Oh. So if you want to bring butterflies and bees into your garden, this is the plant to do it right now. Okay, what about bats? I remember you gave me that bat, that uh, bat house you showed you me. You are so worried about bats. I uh, am worried about bats. Bats, <laughs> dude, bats are our friends. Bats don't pollinate flowers <laughs> as, as a rule, and they're out at night eating mosquitoes. Mm, okay. Did you realize we've had a very low mosquito year because of, oh. you know, less rainfall, but certainly the bats are part of that. All right. We kind of went off in a weird direction there, but, It you happens. Know. That's okay. Yeah, so Thank you very much, Rob. Do you have bats in your bat house now? No. I have bats in my belfry, so. I don't want any bats. No bats. <laughs> All right. Rob Brock here for Backer's Garden. We're back after the break. <laughs>